and what is going on guys i'm nintendo boy and welcome to my 12th anniversary on youtube so yes uh 12 years ago today i created my youtube channel april 20th haha <laughs> get it because i made it on that day i created this youtube channel uh 12 years ago today uh the day this is being uploaded uh at least it should be uploaded on uh the 20th and i haven't really done an anniversary surprisingly before that's probably because for a majority of my time on youtube i haven't or i didn't upload anything and i also just kind of forgot when i created my youtube channel until i realized that you just have to go into the about page because i'm kind of an idiot it's so yeah uh i figured i would finally do an anniversary uh video series this isn't just going to be one part obviously um you'll see what part two is probably tomorrow um and if not then you'll just see what it is very soon uh and so yeah i'm finally doing one and today we're doing a room tour i've never done this either i've kind of been eager to show like what my entire setup looks like and what everything else around here is um it's not anything too exciting as you'll soon see but i uh just wanted to do it because i mean i may as well i mean i have a lot of stuff i have a lot of stuff on my shelves you know i just thought it'd be something that would be fun to do and so yeah um i guess that's kind of it for just introducing what we're doing and so yeah uh here is the room tour okay so starting here we have the top shelf uh up here is where i keep a lot of my mario um plushies like my main ones like we got you know regular mario we got luigi we got bill bill we got magic koopa there's koopa goomba you know cheap cheap all that stuff is up here and you know it's pretty nice i like to have it organized and yeah there's a donkey kong kart toy for mario kart and uh, right here is the Super Mario Encyclopedia. If you guys remember, this is like a encyclopedia that had like a lot of false information in it. And um, I decided to get it just because of that, because I feel like it's such a weird piece of Mario media that is not really useful to use considering it has false information and typos and stuff. But I thought it would be funny to own regardless. So that's up there along with all the other plushies and i'll probably never read it but you know it's 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 a fun thing to have all right going down we have the toad um stuff right here this is on the second shelf um i got like regular toad right here and this guy right here is actually like my very first toad plush and it's just incredible that i still have him uh right here is my uh captain toad um that i got a while back actually i did a review of him and uh yeah here's my main toad right here uh, he's a pretty cool guy and two mushrooms right here. Um, I keep them here because it fits with the toad stuff and uh, there's a Mario Kart toy another Donkey Kong Mario Kart some cool things to put on there and Right here is uh, my dr. Mario plush that you probably saw in the Christmas haul. I really like this guy and uh, Behind him is the metal Mario plush, which I did um, I think in the last Christmas haul from 2020 and uh, there's Cat Mario right there. So I have him. And um, speaking of Metal Mario, I do have a Metal Mario toy in a cart. So that's pretty nice fitting, you know, right there. Um, and behind all that is a Lego Mario, uh, you know, box. Because I do have that. And you will see him later. And on top of that is uh, some Game & Watch uh, games that I showed in... Well, at least I showed one of them in my Christmas haul. This Mario one right here, I haven't actually shown yet, but I do have that because I plan to use it later on in another video. And um, just to end it off, we got Wario. And uh, we got these Lego Star Wars minifigures, which they're the 20th anniversary, and they're the classic ones, and they're really awesome, so I figured I'd show those. And so yeah, that's it for the second shelf. And uh, overall, I do like all the stuff on it, just like the first shelf up here. And moving down, we got the third shelf, which is kind of a miscellaneous shelf, you know? Like, we got um, all this random stuff, but we do have some Mega Man stuff, like this giant Mega Man guy right here. You may remember him from a old review that I did. I still really like this guy, and that's why he's still on the shelf. And next to him is another guy from Mega Man. He's Proto Man. He's one of my favorite Mega Man characters, so I figured I'd get some merch of him, and he's really cool. And next to him is like a really weird uh, Yoshi like bundle thing that I got because it was like on clearance and so I was like, I might as well get this. I don't even know why I still have it on display because it's kind of weird, but he's kind of cool, I guess. So why not? 
And then behind all that are some uh, plushies from a game that you probably remember when you were like a wee little lad. Uh, it was a game called Benny and the Ink Machine. I don't know if you still remember it, but there it is. I have two things from that, so it's always a burning reminder that I apparently remember that game, unlike a lot of other people. And then behind them uh, is an Enderman from Minecraft. It's very hard to see, though. And so yeah, that's the miscellaneous shelf as I like to refer to it because it's a bunch of random stuff. Alright, and for the last shelf, uh, this is what I like to refer to as my game shelf. And so that's where I keep all my Wii games, Wii U games, DS and 3DS games. And so I'll kind of just show some of them that I got. Uh, starting with Animal Crossing, uh, because it is an A game. Not just in terms of like tiers, but you know it's an A game. Because they're all um, alphabetical, because it's easier to keep track of them. So we got games like Mario Kart, uh, New Super Mario Brothers, Smash Brothers. And Sonic Unleashed, keep an eye out for that game, wink wink. Um, we got the Wii series of games, uh, Nintendo Switch Sports is coming up, so that's nice. Um, and then there's some Wii U games over there that I don't really pay attention to because I don't have many of them. Uh, so that's there. Here's my Raiders Las Vegas bottle because I did go to Las Vegas recently. Um, maybe I'll show some pictures at some point. Um, and so yeah, there's my Wii games and Wii U games. And, uh, of course, the things I need to play them with is EA Wii Remote. And so that's why on the left side, I have a Yoshi Wii Remote and a Bowser Wii Remote. I mainly use the Yoshi Wii Remote because, I mean, it's green. I mean, you can't go wrong with green. But so is the Bowser one, technically, and that's that. But I do like Yoshi a bit more, so that's why I use Yoshi Wii Remote. Um, so put those back. And uh, up here are the DS and 3DS games. Um, so I got a lot of Lego games right there. And here's some like New Super Mario Brothers and stuff like that. Pokemon. We uh, got some 3DS games like Animal Crossing New Leaf, uh, Lego City Undercover, uh, Smash Brothers 3DS, and Tomodachi Life. Again, look out for Tomodachi Life. Wink, wink. And over on the right to keep them steady, we got some Lego boxes. And above the Lego boxes, we got some Xbox 360 controllers, because I do own one of those. And so, obviously, I need controllers to play that. And so I just stick them up there, and then I grab them whenever I need them. And then, next to the Raiders bottle is um, this little Animal Crossing puzzle, like, maze thing. That, uh, yeah, I already solved it. That's, yeah, I was trying to solve it, and I already did. And we got some Game Boy games on top of that. <laughs> Uh, as it focuses, as I try to make it focus, uh, we got Super Mario Land, uh, classic game, and then some other miscellaneous games that don't matter. And they're on top of a King Dedede Amiibo box, which is also on top of some Pokemon cards and game manuals from the Game Boy. Alright, so clean transition out of the way. Here is my next shelf, which, um, on top of it, uh, well, yeah, I ignore the scythe right there. I don't know why I still have that there. But on top of this shelf, um, as you can see, we got some Animal Crossing plushies, which if you remember, I did do like a short little review on these guys. They should be fa fairly familiar. So there they all are right there. And I keep them there because they are a nice collection. I mean, I don't have all of them, but you know, they're a nice collection. Um, right here is a Lego Slave 1 that I built. It took a long time, but I keep it there just as a nice little piece. And underneath that are some uh, like little uh, magazine book sort of things. We got a graphic novel template, history of video games magazine, and a Mario sticker book. So that's uh, all right, I guess. And uh, over on the left right here, we got some Lego Mario stuff. I did say you'd see him later, and so here that is right here. We got Boom Boom, Bowser Jr., and the main guys themselves, Lego Mario and Lego Luigi. Here's a close-up of the enemies that we've seen. And uh, right here are some Kirby Amiibo, which I got alongside Kirby in the Forgotten Land, because you mean, you know, you gotta have the Kirby drip, the Kirby stuff and all that, so that's a pretty nice thing to have. And um, we got Venom. All right, the next shelf is, um you know, the one right below it. And um, right here, uh, we got some Bowser and Koopalings plushies because I thought might as well have it themed to them because why not? Yeah, we got Bowser right here. He's um, actually kind of a rare plush. He's made by like Goldie, so I keep him here because he is kind of rare compared to some other stuff that I have. Um, and below him, is a Bowser Jr. Amiibo, and so um, I got him a while back as well, 
and uh, ignore the placement of him because it's kind of weird. But I do really like the amiibo. It's kind of got like a shiny material for like the Koopa car, so that's kind of nice. Um, right here we got Larry. A lot of people like Larry, and so do I. A lot of people maybe not like Iggy, but he's cool. And back there behind Larry is Morton. Uh, he's like the second oldest Koopling, I think. I don't have Ludwig, though. And behind Iggy... Uh, is Lemmy. I don't know how many people like Lemmy. Where are all my Lemmy supporters at? Um, right here, um, as I'm pulling it out, it's, it seems to be kind of difficult, uh, is my 3DS. As you can see, it's kind of scuffed up. It's the, the, the paint or like the, the shelling on it is all chipped out and it's kind of gross. But I use it anyway because I have a lot of 3DS games that I still want to play. And you should play them too because the eShop is closing. So, feel free to get them while you still can. And underneath the 3DS, uh, we got some, if I can pull them out, they seem to be kind of difficult for me in this recording. Uh, we got some Animal Crossing Amiibo cards, and that is just a chunk of the collection right there, as you can see. I got quite a bit of them. Just collecting them up, maybe using them, I don't know. Um, and behind them is my Nintendo Switch game physical collection. I have a lot of digital games, but here's my physical collection. We got stuff like um, Big Brain Academy. We got a Crush Bandicoot and stuff like that, so that's kind of nice. Um, and so yeah, that seems to be it for the top shelf. And so with that, let's move down to the bottom shelf. And the bottom shelf consists of a lot of different things. Um, as you see, we got like uh, some Mario Karts right there. Uh, right here, we got Kirby. I mean, I really like a lot of Kirby games, so I thought I might as well just get something to represent Kirby. Uh, he seems a little out of place, but you know, he's kind of lovable. Uh, and why he feels out of place is because a lot of this stuff is Toad-related. I don't know why I'm zooming in so close. Uh, we got a lot of Toad stuff right here. We got Cat Toad. We got some Blue Toads. Um, one of them, this guy right here. Yeah, this guy is one of the oldest blue toads that I have. Um, behind him is a yellow toad. I just knocked that blue toad over. Uh, is a yellow toad. Uh, behind him is a toadette. And there he goes. This toadette is a bootleg, but it's still toadette, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and next to him is another regular toad. I know that I have one on my first shelf, but I still have that guy. Uh, behind them, all of them, are some Mario Hot Wheels. I believe that's what they are, and I just keep them there because they're kind of cool. And as you can see, after pulling all the Toad stuff out, I do have a lot of dust on these shelves because there's so much stuff on them that I just don't want to clean it because it would just take forever and it'll get dusty the next day. And um, ignoring the dust um, on the left right here, as I mentioned earlier, we got some Mario Kart RC cars. And on top of them is the main man, not in Smash himself, Waluigi, because why not? We had Wario on the last shelf, so we might as well have Waluigi. And so yeah, that's it for the second shelf. And uh, moving on to the final part of this shelf, the bottom shelf. All right, and for our final shelf, we have the bottom shelf. And uh, as you can see, this bottom shelf is uh, generally Yoshi themed. We even have some Baby Mario and Baby Luigi right there. And so let's start with one of the highlights of this shelf, this big boy Yoshi. He's like the biggest Yoshi plush I've ever had, if you exclude that other Yoshi plush that we looked at from the other shelf. And he's from the All-Star Collection, and I do have the smaller version of him, but for some reason they sell this bigger one. And so he's just amazing. He's like one of my favorite pieces to have in this like shelf. And behind him we have some other Yoshis, like a orange one, a white one. Uh, a purple one, uh, a light blue one, and a red one just kind of poking out right there. And of course, I got Bay Mario and Bay Luigi. And on the left, we got some miscellaneous stuff like this Lego Star Wars, the video game for PC copy. Uh, I like that because I like Lego Star Wars. Uh, and then next to that is a Legend of Zelda manga. I don't even have like the first one or any of the other ones, but. I saw it one day and I was like, I might as well grab that because it looks really cool. And uh, if we move this stuff out of the way and pass this red Yoshi, we got some other stuff. We got a Pac-Man arcade, like mini arcade. Again, I've shown that in a video before, so that's kind of nice. And Sonic Colors Ultimate. 
uh, for the Nintendo Switch. So take that as you will. I mean, I got a free keychain out of it, so that's kind of nice. So we'll put that back. And uh, yeah, that kind of wraps up the bottom shelf. Uh, I'm struggling to put back LEGO Star Wars. But yeah, that wraps up the bottom shelf. We got all this Yoshi stuff. So let's move on to the final thing for this video. All right, and for the final part for this video is the desk tour and kind of my computer tour. So as you can see, I got my uh, audio stuff open. I'm sure you're probably hearing some audio from that right now. And my wallpaper is a uh, Lego Star Wars wallpaper. I mean, you already saw the Lego Star Wars thing before, but this is the Skywalker saga, so that's kind of nice. Um, and here is my desk with all my random crap on it. And so, first things first, um, the thing I'm actually recording this audio with is right here, my microphone, which is a Blue Yeti microphone, and, uh, that's like a little sound, uh, purifier? It's not purifier, but, you know, it's like a sound thing, helps with sound. Uh, yeah, it's Blue Yeti. And, yeah, I really like this mic. It's definitely better than my old mic that I use. I think the last time I used my old mic was, like, uh... Mario Party Stream, that was my keyboard, it's got rainbows and stuff on it. Take that as you will. And here is the main part of my desk, all the random stuff on it. Right here is a Cat Peach Amiibo, you may remember that from a Christmas haul video I did. Um, and next to her is some Lego minifigures from blind bags and stuff. Really like those. Yeah, as you can see, Lego theme, sort of a Lego theme going on. And, um, there's some more LEGO stuff. Uh, right here is my Nightmare Bunny action figure. Um, he might actually be kind of rare. I'm not actually sure, but I really like this action figure. Um, again, you know, Security Breach just came out, so that's kind of a thing to note. Um, and I have another action figure, which is Lefty, because it was a Walmart exclusive, and I was just randomly at Walmart. I was like, you know what? I'll get Lefty. Why not? Even though I don't even love Lefty that much, I still got him. Uh, behind that is a Timmy plush from Animal Crossing, uh, so that's cool. I did show him in a video, I think, at one point. Um, behind him is some Super Mario cereal, which uh, we got two boxes. We got the regular one, and next to it, uh, when I get the camera back there, is the Mario Odyssey version, which I had shown in the Mario Odyssey video. Um... Over on the left right here, uh, towering above the desk is some Funko Pops. Um, you know, I collect some random ones. We got a Bonnie one, we got some Mega Man ones, so that's kind of cool. We got a Mario 8-bit Amiibo. We even got a Steve action figure from Minecraft. Just a bunch of random stuff that I don't even know how to name. And with all that being said, that's pretty much all the desk has to offer. And so here is a one last look at my desktop. And another look at all the stuff I have on it. It's a bunch of random stuff that is probably questionable, but I like it anyway. It's uh, cool to look at when I'm bored, so that's why I have it. And with that, and one last look at my desktop with some of my apps that I have. It's over there. I think that will do it for this room tour. And so, with that, thank you guys so much for watching part one of my 12th anniversary celebration. And I will see you guys in part two. And so, bye-byes.